Okay, so what's up? I'm Takedown. So some people were bringing up issues in some videos regarding Halo esports, community, etc., and giving their opinions. So I figured I'd just you know sit down, talk about it, and give my opinion specifically regarding the community's reaction. A little bit what's going on. Um, later in the video, I'm gonna cater to the younger and older players because I feel like. There's a need to distinguish a couple things, and I need to make something very clear. I've written down pretty much everything I want to say, so I'm going to be reading it as I go. I'm doing it right now, so I don't go too far off tangent and make sure I say everything I want to say. The first thing I need to bring up is relegations. Yes, we've gone extensively to the point where we've gotten the top two teams from the open circuit, and yes, they should be able to defeat pros on land. But I think that they shouldn't get only one chance to defeat the pros with them only being at the land to compete against those pros. Like, it just seems to the community like you're, you're hyping up a few matches or a few matchups only to where if it happens enough times to the point where an, a top AM never gets relegated in or a pro team gets relegated out, it seems really tedious to the community. Like, this isn't my, this isn't like me talking. This is like, just like, from my experience, what the community feels about it. Like, if this is the case, that doesn't mean we as a community should be discouraged by any means. The problem should never be a matter of skill. Clearly, if you were good enough, you had the potential to get to the event and play against the pros. Don't look at it like an incentive oh, these players played so hard for that one shot and couldn't do it, what chance do I have? That is a terrible way to look at it and will never get you anywhere at all. Like, I can't even tell you this is... Number two, HCS and the tourney have every right to hype the relegations tourney and due to the high-risk reward, it should be furthermore reason to watch and support the tournament in and of itself. Viewership and attendance should be 100% encouraged so that don't be that like Twitch kid that like comes in like or like in general what's the point the tournament is nothing if they don't get relegated do not say that do not say that that is it's it's a, it's still a big deal for the players and depending on how much they they could get like or do, how well they play they could get picked up by a pro team or in contrast, like a pro player may approach them and to team in the future for whatever reason, like may, maybe like it doesn't even have to be for this game. It doesn't, it, it doesn't. This has happened already. Like a few times, like number three, one can argue that this still isn't enough. The support, the viewership. Yeah, that's important. But if the relegations in and of itself, are not everything they're built up to be, then you're bound to look at it as a slim chance regardless of how confident you are in your skill. Let me be clear. If this is like, this is different than what I'm talking about before because a lot of players are wanting to practice less and still compete. That's like being the ultimate hypocrite. No offense to those players, but you're like contradicting yourself. Why would you say you're still going to compete but then practice less due to poor formatting. A lot of people would say, I'm just waiting on Halo to get their crap together. Bring MLG back, fix Pro League, whatever. Like, I hate to say it, but you guys need to get over it. Like, if you're serious about this game, you've gotten anywhere near close to being a top end AM, like in general, top amateur, you know that every minute that you spend on the game matters. Say you're not good enough yet, and you just started competing. This is about like the time of Halo Reach or Halo 4, it was the same exact scenario, but like on a much larger skill, skill and like it was a much larger problem. And believe me, those players had more to complain about. Like just off the top of my head, we had Bloom issues, we had update issues, we couldn't get anything updated, like they weren't listening, not to say they listen more now, but <laughs> they, had, they had problems, like Reach was... It was all frustrating, okay? But a lot of them, a lot of the players kept grinding. 
players like me and I can say from my own personal experience that even though I wasn't attending lands, I wasn't trying to go pro, etc., I still silent grinded the game a crap ton. Like I stayed humble, I got better, and by the time H5 came out, I had previous ex experience from other Halos. Some people are gonna say, "Oh, dudes like Hook didn't need that." You can be good just from playing H5 only from release. Yes, this is true. But let me be clear: it doesn't mean that ha what, having experience on Halo, other Halos, did not help. A lot of pros like Snipe Down or Pistola, for example, like have referenced on stream time and time again, and other pros too, that like things that help them compete. By competing before H5, whether it be comparing old strategies, um, team chemistry built from other teammates, like etc., the potential is endless. And I could talk about that in another video because it's another topic separately. But my point is, we have it like way better than we did before. So learn about competi competitors, like learn from them, and learn about the competitors from the last generation, and stick with the game. Because you have no idea how much it could help you in your personal grind in the future. With some of the smarter players, I've already realized this and looked at it like at a possible retirement scenario. Rather than be just skepti skeptical to the truth. This is where it hurts. This is where it really sucks. People might take some of the ideas mentioned by some of those players. And come to the... Or just what I'm saying so far. Like if you just stop the video. And come to the realization... That it's not about the format. If it's the grind isn't all it's cracked up to be, what's the point? Sure, they fix problem one, two, in one, two years, whatever. Lord knows three for three is having issues. So who knows? But you need to ask yourself two things. Number one, am I continuing my grind into the greater future? And number two, is that what I want? And here's the good news. To answer your first question, I guarantee most of you are going to say yes already that's why I'm confident in this community. Even if you say no, you're going to get on the game tomorrow, most of you. <laughs> Just hearing that alone can give you inspiration to go on and seeing people that you know with you are going through it all. Just hopping on the game. This isn't even written down. Just hopping on the game. You got players next to you in arena. They're dealing with the exact same thing. They're literally right there next to you. They're literally playing in your game alongside you. So clearly they're having the same issues. Except for, like, players that come on and just start complaining, like, why do I even play this game? And, but they're still there. That's the thing. They're still there. They know what's going on. They know there's problems, but they still get on. Number two, it really all depends because, or before that, excuse me, I forgot something. Just hearing that alone, if you think you have any potential, you should at least look and see that there's other people around you having the exact same problem and then ask yourself, why do they compete? That's so important because, you know, the people around you, they you can learn from them. It's <laughs> obvious stuff. Number two, it really all depends because none of it, none of that matters on how good you are like a lot of players want to get something out of the game now because they're competing in now they want something right now we are an impatient species if halo has taught me anything it's that being humble and being there to learn are some of the most important traits in a player period no matter how small we all have it the like the biggest fires burn in those types of players like pro players literally achieving success when maybe you're not even all that great you just pull it out because you tried that hard and the more you want it the more that it applies to everything like that just applies to life in general not even just like this game esports whatever it applies to everything hopefully that helps like younger players a little bit in asking the right questions older players guys you've got investments you've got jobs i get it You've got every reason and no reason to keep going all at the same time because chances are you're more experienced with the game. At the same time, you could look at it like all this time wasted for nothing. I get it. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you it's not for that. It's, it's not for that thing. It's like I said earlier, maybe you were good at the game. Almost 
all pros throughout their history started slow in a previous halo and accepted the fact that at the next level at the next halo they did be- they did better because they had that attitude subconsciously just off paper they the end of the next game maybe some player came back like he had to quit right and he got back into halo he's like yes i can finally play now i didn't know this before so of course that's why i'm able to compete now no almost all of those players who come back all look at it like i'm so glad i grinded before i'm so glad i sat there and endured it as long as i did because those extra minutes got me a lot better to when i did come back until now nobody like explain the psychology of a halo player and that this in depth let me tell you competing is hard we have it easy halo has one of the highest prize pool tournament ratios in gaming overall not just console gaming not to mention a lot less competition i think like 40 times less than league of legends guys you older players or like older players you want real reasons to keep going i'll give you real reasons like this is what i'm talking about if you're in your 20s you're in your best year still your potential peak drops at about 26 right but players who've been competing so long they don't let that catch up to them they don't in theory you could go five ten more years past your reflexes catch up to you because you have the knowledge you have the knowledge and let me tell you a lot of these top ams that are older than 26 a lot of them will tell you like they, they'll still tell you you're bet they were better than they were in their potential prime and they're like somewhere from like 20 to 26 whatever and that should tell you that it's possible Nated and Victory X are right there at the top. Perfect examples. And they've been there since damn near the beginning. And I've heard rumors Ogre 2 might just come back, dear God. Like, if that's not some real incentive, I don't know what it is. I don't have all the answers. I'm just listing some important things to think about so you can find it, so you can have it, so you can find it on your own, you know? Like, it's, there's a lot we have to think about. And whether you think it's right or wrong, you still need to consider all the alternatives and be open-minded and look at it from a different point of view. Because that in and of itself, like just outside of Halo and Halo, that even applies in game. Like you need to be able to do that. When it comes to Halo esports in general, we're on the rise if you haven't noticed. Since H2A, I mean like just the legacy, not just like the past couple months, guys, or your whatever you're, you're talking about, whatever you're thinking. I mean in general as a legacy. Since reaching H2A, we, we had problems. But that was a start. Like it was it sucked, but it it was a start and we got HWC out of it come H5. Let me tell you, I bet a lot of players like I for one are glad that we grinded MCC because it helped helped me get that much better and keep the rust off for h5 for a lot of players it got them into pro league or in the open circuit falcated and shotzi come to mind like just right now today they were the number one team in pgl 2s undefeated and lost maybe like one match on the ladder and they were like 14 they had it all in front of them and kids you think kids like that weren't frustrated they were they were probably livid at one point some players might be like hey they're young they can take it well what about the pros that have been there since early halo what about me as an older player i've got things to worry about shooter and spartan got their breaks and they were a bit older right and thanks to that they're right there at the top in h5 because they grinded the last halo notice how i'm not like dodging the subject i'm adding on i'm not giving you the answer right away i'm just giving you things to think about take all this into account all this just leads me to believe that there's a real reason to keep going every single time a teammate of mine says they want to quit and that there's nothing to compete for there's no no tournaments nothing at all we got nothing to compete for why are we teaming or whatever like there's no point for me to keep playing i might as well retire i just wait for something like i just wait i just say something always comes up whether it be another league, MCC at big tourney, I don't care. Something always comes up. I, I tell them. Like, and 
three four three won't let up on that i assure you like maybe not the actual game itself they might stop like they might stop you know looking at updates they might start stop listening to us but they'll like give us try tournaments to at least try and attempt to compete and then we can practice the skills we need for future halos like i mentioned before team building chemistry networking learning to call out better learning to be more efficient with what you do have things like that you don't have that you think you do you don't and until you're a pro you can say that like you cannot say you have that there is so much to work on i can tell you right now that's that's the facts they they will tell you themselves you're not there yet you have a lot to look at in terms of what i need to do to get better and you need to do everything that's necessary to get better that's not what this video is about though you can ask pros i'm just gonna leave it at that all this all this can be can just be justified saying it can just be crappy formatting but you'll have something to compete in right so for all the people that are upset you didn't get into pro league because it was hard it is hard there's 32 players and more people want it you think you're gonna get better grinding less i'm done like i vented a bit i'm not sure what i'll what i'll title this video i'll come up with something i do better when i'm able to shift subjects so maybe i didn't talk all about what i think needs to be changed for hcs or what's going like through the minds of other players and then responding directly to that i think i covered some important subjects regardless so i need to end it off um my gt is dread takedown my twitter is hcs takedown if you guys need anything um contact me on either of those i respond to everything so let me know if you need anything peace out guys